Hey everybody, um, right now this is just a stream of consciousness, just my reactions and just thoughts on the Amy Comey, Amy Coney Barrett nomination, I guess confirmation at this point. It, it feels good. I know she's not going to do much, and most she is, is just strong on guns, um, letting us to have the second amendment. By the way, Republicans understand that Barrett's confirmation is coming a week just before potential electoral bloodbath. They don't care. Ah, man, just assault from this article. <laughs> it's just absolutely hilarious. Well, guy's funny. I'm sad. I don't know. I've been going through a lot right now. So, yeah, a lot going through my mind. Starting in touch with my Roma Boo side. Anyway, let's back to the subject. Cons um... Senate Republicans were always going to confirm Amy Coney Barrett to a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court. Well, what other, what else is there to the Supreme Court? It's a lifetime position. Conservative voters wanted it, and the party united around the concept. Republicans believe voting on this... Let me rephrase that. Republicans believe voting on this justice is a constitutional duty. Kinda is. It's explicitly stated that the president nominates and the Senate confirms. And well, the Senate and the, ha the Senate and the presidency are of the same party. There's a vacant seat. They kind of have to fill it. Nomination have it. Nomination happened. There was time to get it done. So they got it done. Stephen Dunfield, Republican, former senior Senate aide, told me. Even the highest ranking officials aren't aren't shy about a minute this may be the party's last class for losing political power for a while well at least i'm being honest about it because i'll be completely honest i'm a black man and i can definitely see that republicans ain't doing they ain't doing they ain't doing shit to gain new voters i mean you'd be surprised just how much how socially conservative the black community would be yet they reject people like mike pence who for all accounts they agree on practically everything but you know, you know, Pence has an R in front of his name, so R means racist. Anyway, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said during a speech yesterday that Democrats won't be able to do much about this for a long time to come. Yeah, can't. Yeah. It's a lifetime appointment, and Trump put three of them. It's still kind of sad that a constitutional appointee is considered a political play. All judges are supposed to be constitutional. That's most. Of, that was one of my biggest issues with RBG, and why I was unfortunately smiling when I got the news that she passed. Um, the Supreme Court has become the ultimate trophy, a way to maintain influence over federal policy, even though they get voted out of power. I mean, it's a lifetime appointment, and it's not supposed to be political. It's supposed to be a constitutionalist, which this. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to talk and just get some of my own emotions out before I take you with me to the bowels of Twitter. Yeah, this is just from the hill. Haunter, haunter, like what? Holy water was stopped in the notorious RBG fish posh. Her literal dying request that the seat be left vacant until the election. Tom fully prevail in NMRQ. She takes over the office. I've seen Supernatural, and I thank you very much. This is exactly how one goes about getting themselves haunted. <sighs> well, my whole thoughts on this. Simple. This woman is a moron. She doesn't live in reality. The fact that her whole thing is that I have seen Supernatural, a TV show. This comes from a guy who loves to read comic books. Used to love the CW before they got uh, before they, well, you know, I mean, they got extremely woke. They were always woke, but they they got broke, kind of woke. But still, <sighs> this complete idiot. Yeah, I said idiot. She doesn't live in reality, and she's just gonna be sorely disappointed. I actually feel kind of bad for her. And there's the, then there's this. My prayer, please, Lord, may the spirit of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. On any GOP justice of SCOTUS, if they ever support a rule 
in favor of any action of RBG herself would consider violation of our, of our rights currently outlined in our Constitution. Okay. A lot to unpack here. First of all, she's praying. She's praying to God, which is something that I feel like this person doesn't believe in God. RBG definitely doesn't believe in God. So, why is she praying? And any GOP justice. For a violation of our constitutional rights, currently outlined the Constitution. Where? I don't know what right they're talking about. She's probably talking about abortion rights and the uh, um, affordable health care. That being said, it's just, yeah. Why are you talking about God with an atheist, someone who doesn't believe in God? And why are you asking for it to haunt? Even if you did believe in spirits, what do you want the spirits to rest in peace? That's the whole point that this entire plane of existence kind of kind of sucks. Now, hear about this one. Very sad day to see that Ruth Bader, that Justice Ruth's last wish wasn't giving a hearing. Now, the United States is stuck with a fake justice. Well, for one, um, GOP Senate, GOP presidency, they can fill a seat that's empty. And if, he, and if each president put her in, Amy isn't even seen by people as legitimate. Clinton was impeached, and Andrew Johnson were impeached. Impeachment means nothing if it never goes through. And who gives a damn about her last wishes? Now, we don't even have proof that she did or not. It's not in the Constitution, so we have no real opportunity to, no real obligation to fill it. Oh, God, they're making me want to drink. And that vodka bottle's looking good. Anyway. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. This is what I'm going to leave you. Do not call her ACB. That is Trump's attempt to erase what he and Barry have done to us. Only Ginsburg went by her monogram. Stop feeding the Trump machinery. Guys. There's a lot going on. And I just wanted to. Just wanted to drag you into the mud pit that is Twitter. Alright, well, I guess this is it. Solo, over and out.